uh, I think we're done. Like I, I, I just I, I want to go run through a wall right now. I just want to get <laughs> I just want to get going. I mean, you you hit something so deep inside of me about just going for it. You know, it, it's that's the way it goes. You you made a statement. I don't remember exactly what you said, but it's like that's just what success takes. You, you're either in or you're out. And what I think most people are trying to do is they're trying to change the rules of success. You can't change the rules of the game. You either play by the rules or you don't play by the rules. And if you play by the rules, you get what successful people have. And if you don't play by the rules, then you get what the rest of the crowd, the 99% of the people, end up with, which is a life of restriction. And I don't care how long it takes. You know, it's, it's about getting in the ring and going for it. And you touch on something so powerful that most people have this story about not being good enough, and I've tried this before. And I was thinking about resolutions over the last couple days, and uh, what I I broke the word apart, and I noticed that the word is re-solution. And I thought, you know, what what's the connotation of that? Is that a positive thing or is that a negative thing? And I think based on everything that you that you touched on, Margie, it the connotation that most of us have around resolutions is automatically negative because we're trying to re-solve something which is just putting us in this loop of problem right we've done this before every single one of us has had a resolution you know at the beginning of the year to lose weight to make more money to do something and we didn't you know we, we didn't make that happen and the more that we get ourselves back on that track the more disempowered we feel so one of the biggest things is to step away from our previous stories, to step away from the previous tracks that we've laid down. You mentioned that Natasha Benningfield song. That is my theme song of my live events, unwritten. doesn't matter what's happened in the past. The future pages are blank. And when you are more excited and more committed to your future chapters than you are to your past chapters, you can do something with your life. It doesn't matter where you've come from, and it doesn't matter what you've gone through. And I'm not trying to be insensitive at all. I'm trying to be empowering. No matter what you've gone through, no matter what your past looks like, you are a human being. You have conscious thought. You have conscious decision. At any moment in time, you can draw the line and say, no more, never again. Never again will I follow that pattern. Never again will I make those same mistakes. Never again will I make those same decisions. Just because you've ever done something in the past doesn't mean you ever have to do it again in the future. And when you tap into this source of conviction, this whatever it takes decision that Margie's talking about, and you cross that line, what's happened to you in the past only matters for the lessons that you got out of it. That's all that the past is good for. It's the lessons of the things that you should do over again because they work and the stuff that you should stop doing because they don't serve you. So when you tap into that energy, like I said earlier, lights out. That's when life gets fun. That's when business gets fun. And that's when you become what Margie is, magnetic and irresistible. So that's what lights us up is seeing people get lit up like that. That's the decision that you've got to make. So forget about this resolution piece. Forget about resolving any problem because you're assuming there is a problem and there is no problem in the future unless you take it from the past and throw it in. So don't throw your problems forward. Start from here. There's nothing to solve. 